Right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Wednesday, October 14th, and this month we are on Fast Forward, man, with the once in a lifetime tastings. We got one, two every week, it seems like. And hey, man, I even do a Zinfandel and Petit Sirah tasting in October. We got to take one for the team, and uh, I think we have some seats left for it tonight. Sorry, I can't get that enthusiastic about Zinfandel. I do like Petit Sirah, though, and I love. Merlot, one of my favorite grape varietals. What most people don't realize, it's the second most planted varietal in the world next to Cabernet Sauvignon. And actually, there's more Merlot planted in Bordeaux than there is Cabernet. And that's my lead into our super Pomerol and saint Emilion tasting. That's right. Those are the two appellations, the most famous appellations of the right bank of Bordeaux. And uh, when you're talking Bordeaux, the history goes back hundreds of years. Actually, it was classified. The left bank was in 1855. And the reason why they didn't classify anything on the right bank is because it's too hard to get to. There wasn't a bridge to get out there. It was considered the boondocks, the sticks, and a lot of people didn't know the wines of the left bank. Well, Pomerol has still never been classified. It's one of the smallest appellations in Bordeaux. And when you look at Pomerol, the plateau of Pomerol, what makes it unique is this blue clay. And Chateau Petrus, the most famous winery in Pomerol, well, the most expensive, the vineyard there is almost 100% of this blue clay. And as you get out further and further from Chateau Petrus on the plateau, you have blue clay, you have a mixture of uh, gravel and sand. And as you get out to the edge of the plateau, it's mostly gravel and sand, hardly any blue clay. Play. So the top properties in Pomerol have a lot of this clay, and this is what makes Petrus unique in wines like Chateau Le Fleur, Le Gay, and Trottenois. We have some of the greatest wines coming from Pomerol at this tasting, going back to 1967. That's right, 67 Cheval Blanc, which Cheval Blanc lies right in the dividing line between saint Emilion and Pomerol, and a lot of people feel like it's more Pomerol-like than saint Emilion like Well, Cheval Blanc also is a very unique blend. It has a high percentage of Cabernet Franc, but these wines all have mostly Merlot in the blend. Some of them like Trois Noirs, 100% Merlot, and even Petrus in certain vintages when the Cabernet Franc doesn't get ripe, there's 15% of the vineyard planted to Cabernet Franc, can be 100% Merlot. So we have got some of the top wines from these two appellations. saint Emilion right next to Pomerol, quite a bit larger. Uh, there's about a thousand labels in saint Emilion. This charming medieval town has been making wine as, as Pomerol Pomerol since uh, before JC and uh, the Romans brought the grapevines here and you know well like I said they weren't really famous until after the 19th century as a matter of fact Petrus wasn't famous until the 50s but Cheval Blanc and uh, uh, the other great wine of saint Emilion Ozone were both classified as first gross in the 50s when this uh, area got classified and this is the only area in Bordeaux where you can actually raise up uh, like uh, Angelus, there's been a few properties, Pavi, that they put 10 years of their wine together and they said, this is what we're doing now, uh, taste our wine, and uh, the AOC tasted it and decided, well, these guys deserve to be elevated. This doesn't happen anywhere but in saint Emilion. Okay, well, uh, the Baron Philippe Rothschild did it in 1973 with Mouton Rothschild, elevated from second to first growth, but that's the only person that's ever done it on the left bank. And like I said, in saint Emilion, there's actually systems in place for you to move up the classification system. We've got Valandrode, we've got Pebby Fougeres, we've got some of the great newcomers, and of course, you're going to have Canaan. We've got just an incredible all-star lineup. I think half of this event is already sold, and uh, we've got Tony's Duck Confit also, which should be fabulous with these wines. So check it out. We've got our Super Pomerol and saint Emilion tasting, another once-in-a-lifetime tasting here this October for you. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.